Hello! Today we're going to go over some keyboard shortcuts in Gmail. In order to do this though, first we have to enable keyboard shortcuts in Gmail. So to do that, let's head over to the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen, and select Settings. Then from the General tab, scroll down until you reach the Keyboard Shortcuts section, and make sure that shortcuts are turned on. After doing that, just scroll down to the bottom of the screen and hit Save. Now once we've done this, we have a whole range of productivity boosting keyboard shortcuts enabled in Gmail. One of the most common things to do in Gmail, or probably any email program, is just to go and hit Compose in order to start a new message. Now all you have to do with keyboard shortcuts enabled is hit the C key, and as you can see, a Compose window pops up. If you would rather open a Compose window in a new tab, you hit the D key instead. Now let's imagine that you want to move through your emails quickly, without having to open each one individually, and without having to scroll or use your mouse. To do this, we use the J and K keys. So to go back and forth in your list, use the J and K keys to move between emails. Look at the left hand side of my emails here. Using the J key, I can move the cursor down the list, and using the K key, I can move back up. If I get to an email that I want to read, I just hit enter and the email will open. A similar keyboard shortcut involves the letters N and P. This involves moving up and down within a conversation. So if you have a conversation like this that contains several messages together, you can toggle through the messages by using N to move down through the conversation, and P to move back up. Like before, you can use Enter to open up a message. Next, combined with the J and K movement shortcuts in your inbox, you can also use the S key to place a star next to important messages. You can also use the S key to remove a star if you've read a message and decide it's not important anymore. Now if you want to delete an email, that's easy as well. You can navigate through and find a message that you want to delete. Then to delete the email, just hit the pound sign, which means hitting shift and the number 3. Sometimes an email is important, or you don't have time to finish reading it after you open it, so you might want to mark it as unread. In order to do this, just select the email that you want and hit shift U to mark it as unread. As you can see here, the message now shows as not having been read. Finally, let's look at two combination keyboard shortcuts that will let you navigate through certain of your folders very quickly. The first one involves hitting G and then hitting S right after. When you do this, you're taken to a view that shows you all of your starred emails. On the other hand, if you'd like to see all your drafts, you can hit the G and D buttons one after another. So these are 9 keyboard shortcuts that can greatly speed up your navigation through your emails. Hopefully you find them helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day!